that uh, both this and the next game we have coming up are two of your most anticipated games. They are, yes. And we, we, that next game, of course, is home front. We'll get to that in a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we apologize for the delay. This uh, section is going to be a little truncated because of that. But we're going to show you a little bit of Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, we're going to talk about it. But for Will, for people that aren't familiar with this game, first of all, they're bad people if they don't know about the game. <laughs> bad people. But give them like, kind of the elevator pitch of, of what this all right. game's all about. So it originally started out, Mighty Number no. 9 started out as a Kickstarter. Um, Keiji Inafune, you should know his name. He's the creator of Mega Man from 1987, so almost 30 years ago. He's uh, the character designer for Mega Man. And he wanted to really evolve the genre. So he created Mighty Number no. 9, and aesthetically, do, when you look at it, you, you think, okay, this is this looks like this is gonna play like Mega Man. It feels right, yeah. It, you think it's gonna play like it, but actually when you get your hands on it, you start noticing that it plays very different. Yeah. Uh, and that's because of the dash mechanic. You see, the whole gameplay revolves around you shooting enemies until you stun them, and then you dash through them to absorb their power. And because this dash it adds a whole element of speed, it also el adds an element of accuracy that you have to concentrate on when you dash through them and how you do it. And you just basically, you have to you have to shoot them when you're really close to them mm -hmm. in in order to get 100% absorption. And by staying really close to them, it's hard to not take damage. Gotcha. So there's this really cool risk reward factor of the gameplay. Um, that especially when you're playing the difficulty mode where you die in one hit, that really takes in into account what you have to do. Um, one of the one of the really cool things that that's kind of carried down the line from uh, from the original Mega Man's is that the level designers have to be able to beat the levels without getting hit. So they that's have awesome. they have to know that it's possible to be able yeah. to do, be able to do this. So it's it's just a really fun game. Um, really the. <laughs> One of the cool things is watching people play the levels for the first time, and then after they play it a couple times, yeah. seeing how their gameplay evolves. Because I almost describe this as like a almost like a 2D Dark Souls mm -hmm. or something, where you're learning the enemy placement first and foremost, and you're learning how the AI behaves. But once you do that, then you can run really fast and you can dispatch them really quickly. Mm -hmm. But that first couple times, you're just trying to figure out exactly how you're supposed to do it and just learning the, the level. I love that you addressed right off the bat that the game really doesn't play like Mega Man because that's one of the things a lot of people say, oh, it's Mega Man, or like people that aren't familiar with the game play it, and they're like, oh, it plays like Mega Man. I'm like, no, it really doesn't. Uh, but it is certainly inspired by that even with the bosses. Can you tell me a little bit about the bosses and the absorption kind of? Yeah, uh, that's, a, that's really one of the big plot points that uh, I don't think has been addressed too much is that as uh, Mighty Number no. 9, or Beck is his name in this game, you actually don't kill anyone the entire game. Uh, the whole plot, you don't kill anyone, even the robots. Uh, you're not you're not killing them. There, what happened is there's been a terrorist attack and all of the robots have been infected by a virus. So you're the only robot that hasn't been affected and you're the only one that, uh, of course, has the ability to absorb this virus and cleanse mm -hmm. them uh, to get, set, get them back to normal. But uh, that really comes in, into play for the boss fights. When you defeat those bosses, you cleanse them of the virus and then they join back on your team. So if you notice in the background right here, that's Cryo in the background, that's Mighty Number no. 2. You've already defeated him at this point, or at this point, because I've been playing this demo for four days now. <laughs> but uh, you've already defeated him in this, so he's gonna help you in this stage. But one of the cool things is that since he's helping you in this stage, it's also indicating that that's this boss in this stage's weakness. Mm -hmm. So if, Depending on what order you play it in, obviously, like any other uh, any of the other Mega Man game games, you can play any of the standard bosses in whatever order you want. That same overarching formula of the single player gameplay remains the same. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a two D two point five D action uh, action game with that same enveloping structure of gameplay, but the gameplay itself plays very different. Yeah, so obviously, Colin, you've played a lot of Mega Man in your day. Yes. And for me, someone that hasn't played as much, I look at this, and it does kind of really strike me as Mega Man and Mega Man X, like you were saying. But how is it different feeling when you actually play it? Well, because to me, the game, I mean, unless you're speed running Mega Man, which is a totally valid way of playing it, this game really is about speed uh, in my in my mind. You're killing enemies as close as possible, putting yourself in danger, mm -hmm. and then you're trying to absorb them. You see the 100% or 80% or 90% popping up, indicating how much you've absorbed of them, depending on how quickly 
league. So, in other words, the game is played, I think, in a totally di with a totally different strategy, which is not to just kill everything as, you know, as you move on, but to kill them in such a way that you're going to be able to absorb them quickly if you are going for S rankings mm -hmm. um, in the game, because that's the other thing that this adds that I, you know, the other Mega Man, you know, Mega Man games don't really have. We have our own way to rank us, give us S rankings and speed runs or whatever, but um, this game is this game has that whole mechanic built into it because over the years, and I think Will would agree, mm -hmm. Mega Man has d developed this this super hardcore audience that tries to play it whether it's with just the Mega Buster or whether you're speed running it or anything like that. And it's, so the heart and soul of the game scene it's clearly an Inafune game, yeah. um, but it's it doesn't. I was immediately, at first, when I first played the game, when the demo came out, uh, back in the day when we were still at IGN, actually, I was a little taken aback. I'm like, this doesn't play like Mega Man, but then you you, you, you get used to it, and you're like, I don't really want it to play like Mega Man. Yeah, no, that's good. It's something different. Yeah. It's, but, do, but do you like what it is? I love it. I mean, I, that's why I'm so excited about it. I just, I'm glad that Inafune is able to go back and give us something that we really want from him. I mean, obviously, he gave us Dead Rising, and he gave us Animusha, and all these games that are great, but this is really the essence of Inafune. Mm -hmm. I think one of the, one of the great things is that uh, that the game's built in Unreal 3, which allows the allows the environments to be crafted in a certain way. They're not these uh, cookie cutter, cut and paste 2D environments. What it, what you're allowed to do here is create levels however you want. Uh, one of the fun things they did in QA testing, just for the hell of it, is they changed the camera angle and actually made it first person. And you can do that since it's a fully realized 3D oh, environment cool. with 3D characters. Um, That's really cool. In Mighty Number no. Two stage, the Ice stage. Uh, on the boss fight, there's obviously you're playing from the normal camera angle, but there are two different uh, monitors in the boss fight that shows different camera angles of the fight, so you can watch the fight from three different angles oh, while fun. you're playing it. That's uh, pretty cool, man. Yeah, so uh, I'm super excited about the game. Tell me a little bit about, you know, obviously the game was recently delayed, uh, and uh, people were disappointed. I was very disappointed about that, but the game is coming. Uh, it's coming to a lot of platforms. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, when it's going to come out, what platforms it's yeah, going to come out. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, and I mean, I hate to make excuses because it's, I'm one of the people that's looking mm -hmm. forward to this game too, but because of the Kickstarter and because of all that, there were so many backers of the Kickstarter that they committed to all these platforms. The game's coming out on 10 different platforms, and in order to develop for 10 different platforms, to port th for them, to QA for them, to localize on eight different languages for 10 different platforms, it takes a long time. So. That wasn't something that was really anticipated when we were making these original release dates, and but now it's it's coming out on three platforms physically. It's uh, PS4, Xbox One, and Wii U physically, but it's also coming out on PS3, Vita, uh, 360, 3DS, uh, PC, Mac, and Linux digitally. And with the PS with the PlayStation versions, it's cross buy for all three yeah, platforms. Awesome! I can't cross wait. Bye, man. Vita is where it's going to be. Yeah, yeah Colin's real happy about that. Because video, video game's not a video game until it's on the Vita. <laughs> if you don't know. Uh, Will, I'm sorry that we have to wrap up so soon, uh, but uh, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to play the game. I'll see you back in San Francisco. Definitely. We have another one of your games coming up right after this. And uh, Q1 2016 is when you can expect my number nine. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Uh,